so the starting point for our project was this realization. Wait, I'm going to share before I start talking. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Great. So we had a realization about six months ago that NAN was one of the top 1,000 GitHub projects. And that just seemed like something cool we wanted to put on social media. And there wasn't a, a dynamic list of the biggest open source projects out there that we could link to. So this, at its most simple, just feel, felt like something that should exist. And then I think when we got into designing the product, we started thinking more about who's actually going to use it. And we decided the main use case was somebody just getting started with open source. So at its most simple, you can just browse this list. You can get more details on any of the entries. You can have a look at the website or um, even go directly to a list of good first issues to get started with. Can you see different tabs on my screen, by the way? Okay. Yeah, we can. They, uh, there they are. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, of course, then you can also filter if you've got a specific interest. Let's say mine is no code, low code. So I can see there's NAN. Um, and then because this, we actually finished this pretty quickly, full disclosure, in part because Jan had already built a workflow that did a lot of the heavy lifting. Um, we started putting software through its paces and adding some more resources for people interested in getting started with open source. So stories from contributors, resources, which all link to an external site. This is super MVP. And then a kind of ecosystem tab of other ways you can get involved and work with other people on open source. And then if we've got a couple more minutes, I think Anuj is going to do a whistle stop tour through the back end. Uh, yeah, sure, I think I can see my screen. So basically on the backend side, we are majorly using Airflow, uh, Airtable actually. So we didn't actually code it a single line of code for the frontend as well. So we based out our frontend from the Airtable itself. So our Airtable base looks like this. So we have like most of the data from GitHub GraphQL API. So we sort of ingested everything, formatted it out, made it quite clean from the API itself. So the workflow is quite straightforward, just using GraphQL node setting up the data, saving it to Airtable, and then just doing it again. So we actually can't get more than 1,000 sort of repositories in one shot from GitHub, but they have a limit for that. And apart from that, our front end is based out of software. So software is something which uh, Claudia discovered. They sort of build out front end from static uh, Air Airtable course. So yeah, pretty much I think we didn't even sort of code a single line for this, so it was pretty amazing. <laughs> 